So, with Skull and Bone Season 1, there is a new world event, and you have to take down La Peste. So in this video, we're going to go through exactly how I take this guy down solo. And we're going to start off with getting the guy to actually spawn. What you need to do is you need to look for the fleet of pestilence. And once you have taken down, I think it's like a headbringer or a plague bringer or something like that. They are going to drop a, when we get down there, they are going to drop a plague bringer captain's head. And you'll see it says, carrying these builds hostility with the fleet of pestilence and may even attract an especially powerful foe. So what you want to do is keep one of these in your inventory, like in your cargo. And you want to go sailing around. You're going to have enemies like spawning in every now and then that are going to try taking you down. And after a period of time, you're going to have the La Peste world event actually like spawn. You're going to have the guy summon himself in. So the way I've been taking him down solo is to use the brig. I've got mine at rank 11. And the way I've got it set up is I have the long nines on the front. I then have the fire bombard on the left hand side. I've got the Dardanelles on the right. I then have Rama's Legacy on the back. And I've also got the uh, like the toxic mortar, the Lafleur. And in this fight that I'm going to show you gameplay of, I think I used the mortar a couple of times. I never used the torpedoes. The main thing is you want to spam the bombards both sides. And you also want to use the long nines. And when it comes to the armor, I would make the progress through the smuggler pass to get the wailing ward. Because you have a perk that's toxic resistant. It reduces damage and crew stamina depletion from toxic attacks by 50%. This guy, like most of his attacks, are going to be like based on toxic. And not only that, this has agile guard, so it reduces crew stamina depletion at the start of bracing by 40%. So this is really, really good for when you are fighting La Peste. Especially because if you are suffering from toxic damage, your, like, your stamina is going to deplete very, very quick. And then we have what's probably the most important one bit of minor furniture is the La Potence Schematics. This is an absolute must have if you are wanting to solo this boss fight because it increases damage to weak points to enemy ships by 10% and it reveals weak points on the fleet of pestilence. So without this, you cannot actually see the weak points on La Pest. And this is also unlocked through the Smuggler Pass. Then for my major furniture, I have the rigging station, so I recover 1% of my health per second when my health is less than uh, 20%. I then have maintenance forge because if this guy takes you down, you are going to spawn back in with some severe damage. So providing you stay out of combat, you're going to get some of your health back. Like It's going to restore back to full over time. Then we have starboard weapon damage uh, increased by 10% and the front weapon damage increased by 10% as well. So that's the long nines and the Dardanelle gun that is getting the extra 10% damage. So the schematics that reveal the weak point is going to be unlocked at rank 20 in the quartermaster part of the smuggler pass. And the wailing ward armor is level 20 in the ship master part of the smuggler pass. So when it comes to the actual fight itself, I was calling for help. Absolutely no one showed up. So I did this like entirely solo from start to finish. What you want to do is get as close as you possibly can to this guy. What that's going to do is it's going to eliminate the possibility of him actually hitting you with the toxic attacks. And you need to be careful through this fight because he's going to send in like what me and Pete have been calling suicide bombers. They're basically these little, I'm going to say like fishing ships, but they have bombs on them. And when these come in, they're going to go straight for your ship. And if they hit you and explode, they are going to release a cloud of gas which is toxic and is going to deplete your crew stamina, as well as dealing damage that you cannot brace against. So I jump in with a mortar, and then because I've got the schematics on for it, I can see the weak points. And what you want to do is you want to target those weak points, because when you destroy one of the weak points, you're going to get a massive damage boost. And all I do is keep myself at, like on the brig, you've got three tiers of speed. Like you've got your first one, your second one, then trim in. I keep myself on one tab of speed just so that I can circle him and I can use all of my weapons. So I typically get some shots with the long nines, turn around to the side and hit him with the Dardanelle and then try and get around to the other side and get him with the fire bombard as well. It doesn't always go to plan. Sometimes I can't get my ship turned around enough. Sometimes I have to back off a little bit to try and heal up. And you need to be careful with this because he does also have cannons that he's going to fire at you. 
And these are going to hurt a lot. Your brace, like you're going to lose most of your bracing strength. But you basically just want to watch out for the little suicide bomber ships. You want to stay as close as you can to him in order to avoid as many of the toxic attacks as you can. And you're going to want to aim for those weak points. And then it's just basically spending enough time in the fight to actually take him down. I'm not entirely sure how long the fight lasts from like the very start, the moment he spawns in. But I think it was around two or two and a half minutes I had left until he disappeared and I couldn't fight him anymore. So it's a very, very entertaining fight. There's a lot of stuff you need to be careful of. There's a lot of damage you can deal with. It like, gives you an opportunity to use all of your guns and stuff. It is going to be a massive ammo sink. So make sure you have a lot of ammo on you. But that is exactly how to solo La Pest in Skull and Bones, the new guy that's come into the game of Season 1. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this world event in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.